Day. Today is Saturday, 14th of January 2023. The Armed Forces Veterans Day is celebrated on 14th January on uh, this very day, January 14, 15, 1953. The first Indian Commander in Chief of India Army, uh, Field Marshal K. M. Uh, Karipa, who led Indian Forces to victory in the 1947 war, had formerly retired from the services. Army Day was first celebrated in India on, on most absolutely this day, January 14, 1949, this day in Indian history. Starting the newspaper analysis with the newspaper, the Hindu states that braving a royal storm tells the tale of India's COVID vaccine journey. Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare Mansukh Mandavia addresses at an event to release the book Braving a Viral Storm, India's COVID-19 Vaccine a Story by Ashish Chandodkar and Suraj Sudhir at Constitution Club of India in New Delhi. On January recently, Jay Shankar, uh, external affairs minister to visit Sri Lanka, may discuss a debit crisis. Uh, the Hindu news also states that rise in government capital spending pushes investment up by 53%. Construction personnel at work on a coastal road construction site in Mumbai. Going towards the Indian Express newspaper states that a uh, question to broadcast a uh, body on hate speech. Supreme Court asks have television anchors been taken off air? Justice Joseph Pauzad, uh, the query when Bombani uh, said the authority had taken quick and eff effective action whenever it receives a complaint regarding a program aired by an, any of its members uh, responding uh, to what government is planning to regulate a hate speech on television and Netroy said it is a uh, planning change to the criminal law. BMC gets an enforcement drive, uh, notes over a contract with the company operating code center. Sources in the agency said that uh, as a procedure, uh, the notes went to BMC Commissioner Iqbal Singh Chahal's office and they have been instructed uh, to produce documents related to awarding of a contract at their office on Monday. So, in the agency said that the procedure, uh, the notes uh, went to BMC Commissioner Iqbal Singh's office once again and uh, they have been instructed to produce documents related to awarding to the, of the contract of their office on Monday. Going towards the Hindu Sometimes newspaper states that Supreme Court are calls hate speech a complete menace of caution center states. The Supreme Court reminded the states that any action against the perpetrators of hate speech should be irrespective of religion as the criminal committed against society regardless of who the speaker is. Hindustan Times also states that Jammu and Kashmir is grid uh, to be a ball stirred uh, in three months, says Amit Shah. Union Home Minister Amit Shah addresses a joint press conference with the Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manu Sinha uh, in Jammu on Friday. Lakshadeep, um, MP, serving a 10 year jail term, disqualified from Lok Sabha. It was a leader, Mohammad Fazil, Lok Sabha. Going towards the economy of the country, India's imports from China reached record high in 2022. Trade deficit surges beyond $100 billion. Wipro Q3 net profit rises 3% 3 to 3,553 crore. Sensex and Nifty bounce back after three-day fall on easing inflation. Metal IT shares shine. It was 13th January uh, 2023. Change was uh, three plus 303.1 pile, which is uh, ultimately equal to 60,261.18. <laughs> Going towards the world news battle of uh, Bakumat, uh, Soldar, Crimea in eastern Ukraine, ongoing, says Zelensky. Boeing 737 MAX uh, makes a first passenger flight to in China since March 2019. Relief groups as say five die as a Myanmar airstrike hit church. Donald Trump organization uh, fined $1.6 million uh, for tax fraud. United Kingdom economy grows unexpectedly by 0.1%. Aim strong services. Going towards the science and technology, India's first solar car debuts at Auto Expo 2023. More potent than cyanide, how to stay safe from blue ringed or octopus this summer. The venom or blue ringed octopus contain a tetrodotoxin, a potent neuro neuro neurotoxin, claimed to be a thousand times more potent to humans uh, than a cyanide. At last, there's a famous quotation by George Eliot, an English novelist. 
whose full name is Mary Ann Evanas, uh, known by her pen name George Eliot, was an English novelist, poet, journalist, translator, and one of the leading writers of the Victorian era. She wrote seven novels, uh, Adam Beatty, uh, The Mill of the Follows, uh, Silas Mariner, uh, Romola, uh, Flags uh, Hold, The Radical uh, Middle March, and Daniel uh, Deronuda. George Eliot states that uh, it is never too late to be what you might have been. Okay, thank you.